What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I want to try the Guardian package with Wall Knight and you have a lot of really strong tools including Haunted Pumpkin. This card, if you can actually give this extra health and you're running the photosynthesizers, you also have Bubble. Uh, this just does so much and you know, again, the Guardian package is uh, revolves around Forget-Me-Nuts and Triceratops and Photosynthesizer. You're always running four copies of each of those. We typically run Galactic Cactus, which is just a very strong aggro card. I know it can anti-synergize sometimes with your Forget-Me-Nuts, but you have enough ways, again, of protecting the Forget-Me-Nuts, and uh, you also just have enough ones and twos that you don't have to play these when they're anti-synergetic with each other. Um, you also, again, the so instead of, let's say, the normal Juggernaut we're running, I'm running Apple Saucer, which is not only a good card against Weed Spray and things that a deck like this could be weak against, uh, it doesn't get Rolling Stone. It also has Strike Through in the late game, so it becomes a very valuable card for, uh, starting on turn 6. Uh, we're also running a couple of Pair Cubs, so this is to play around Weed Spray, play around Field Clear, and uh, it just anyway usually makes a very good trade with anything on turn 3, uh, establishing that tempo. And uh, it also combos with Galactic Cactus. If this explodes, it'll activate the Pair Cub, and you can get a 5-4 in the water for 3 costs, which is ridiculous value. Now, in the Citron version of this deck, sort of like the Countertron, you were running uh, Spring Bean and Shrinking Violet. We don't have the luxury of the uh, Smarty cards uh, in this deck, like Spring Bean is kind of the jack-of-all-trades removal, bounce anything off the field. But we do have Hammer and Shamrock, which again do have their virtues. Really, if you have one of each of these in hand, it can answer any really any card in the game, unless it's untrickable. This is four or more, and this is three or less. Uh, so you really, again, want to establish Temple the first three turns and then uh, continually remove every single card that they play. And that's how you win with a deck like this. A very sort of tight tempo. Uh, we are running four copies of Blockbuster. Again, this can just be a four cost three, three bullseye. That is good enough in a deck like this to add a, that another thread onto the field after you've already really established that strong tempo. Uh, and if they're running Pogo, Mog, and Mix of Grave, you know, uh, Pirates, just cards with Gravestone. I mean, this is just devastating, an absolute game winning card. Uh, you have plenty of one drops to cover, you know, with this, so that, that'll be fine. Uh, decided to go with four copies of Astrocado, just give us a little bit more finishing power. It still has the Astrocado Pit, which will activate your Dino Roar, kind of cool synergy, but uh, I just found that it's good just to have a little bit extra power, since again, you don't like have Brain Nan or anything like that. You just need a way of just closing out those games. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, again, the very fun thing in this deck is establishing the Pump Kings and then using Photosynthesizer on them. I mean, that is just like, then you have a 4-4. If we bubble it, it's a 4-6, it's just like... Real. And then you play Triceratops, and then you just get ahead. Triceratops Photosynthesizer is obviously synergy. Um, this is, you know, Super Brain's usually a pretty good matchup. The question is, what do you keep? Like, I, I think we'll go more for the Hammers than for the Shamrockets in our starting hand. Um, probably don't need two Galactus. This should be fine. Uh, probably, since we're not worried about turn one removal, oh, let's do the... the Let's do the, the the bets. If you think this deck will go 8-2 vote well, yes, and if not, vote now. It's up to you. I would vote yes, but that's just me. Uh, so I am going to put the Galacta on the field instead of this. Again, this can prevent telepathy this turn, which is not... It's definitely worth it to put the stronger Bullseye card. This is just such a strong card. It also answers, like, 2 cost 2-3s, two which is so good. Your um, Triceratops typically want to go on heights against Super Brains, who doesn't really have a very big difference between the ground and the heights, except for Laser Base Alpha. Uh, I think I'll go with that, even though we have the Forget Me Nuts, which you typically want to be to the left, so it can at least do something before the Galacta explodes. Um. <laughs> Our one drop trades with is two drop, just to put this in perspective. This card's so good. And if left alone, it just does so much for a one cost card. Ah, so this looks like a really good play. This will deny him. I don't know what his superpower is, but if it's like deadly, it'll at least deny it this turn. Uh, the question is lanes. I think we want the forget me nuts in the middle because that's what we would use the blockbuster on next turn. If he doesn't play a gravestone, I'll just play the blockbuster in lane four. And again, just look at the. This is the. This is how this deck. This sort of concept works. That on, this is on turn three. Look at the tempo difference. It's insane. And then again, we're just going to be able to remove any... Right now, we have the answer to literally anything he could play. Okay, so uh, I, probably trading this because the Pogo will take this off the field. It's usually Pogo. This is a little bit sad covering a Triceratops here, but um, I, I'm going to do it. Prob if it's a Pogo. 
Oh, okay. But think what that did. We put our own guy in the field. We traded a 2-4. We traded our 2-drop for his 4-drop. Even though our 2-drop grew. I'm not going to say that was the most ideal <laughs> blockbuster ever, but it, it's good enough. I checked decks at the end of the stream. I used the channel points to check them. That'll be the last thing we do after the daily challenge. We do 10 games. And then the daily. The sky can, I mean, it's just so. The tempo, man. We didn't actually really gain any tempo turning a 2-4 into a 3-3. Three, three. If anything, we lost. Maybe that blockbuster wasn't good. I, I didn't really have another plan. I could have put it here. Then we probably would have lost tempo. Eh, it's fine. And especially if it was a pogo. Then that would have... This would have gotten... The 3-3 three, three would have gotten bound. So. It's definitely worth it to sack one of our guys and kill his guy then for hips pogo just to be able to bounce something maybe not though maybe blockbuster here was better we're going to destroy our guy and then we'll get a card back in our hands well that guy just quit blockbuster also increases your win rate just on account of making opponents concede whenever you play it he might have even had some small chance of winning that game, but he just didn't feel like it. Okay, uh, it's so interesting. I, d I don't like keeping Forget-Me-Nuts against Z-Mech, because then his superpower just wins in the game. Even Galactas are very sad, because... Um... Like, if he hits this on 2K, okay, so now we have the Triceratops. This will be okay. Ah. <sighs> I'll I'll go for this. We'll play around Trapper and play us on Heights. Trapper is just better against this than against Dracaratops. And again, right now his his ultimate will not kill both of these. As opposed to the apple saucer, he can hit this and it actually does feel clear. So he'll probably get, get lightning bolted here. Hawks. Probably we'll get a better heal later. Again, we're not very far ahead. The mech super is so strong, but we are ahead. I mean, we're a We're still establishing. We still are ahead in tempo, and we're ahead in, in health too, significantly. We'll need to somehow answer two cards in in one turn, which is not always easy. Kind of putting this here in case he plays a Gravestone and we, we top deck another for a small consideration. That's a very slow weed spray. Does he have a bungee? So he's playing like Control z -Mac. I don't know what he's going for, but his late game is going to be very sad with this hand. Yeah, so Sham Rocket really getting it done. And for all the people who say that Sham Rocket, which by the way is not a control card, it's a tempo card. You have to run the right deck with it, but you know, this, this is devastating. Absolutely devastating. Sad Divorce Dad, thanks for subscribing at Tier 1. That's a sad name. I guess maybe you keep Forget Me Nuts for Trick Mac in case they play Teacher on one. Good idea. Jeffrey Bezos. So, Shamrock is getting value. He's a trade, actually, which is nice. Ooh! That's a, that's a heal. This keeps a 3-1 on the field. That's about as good of a heal as we'll get. And our opponent is now down to six, so I mean they're just not gonna have enough cards to deal with this now. See my supers out of the way, which is nice. Opponent didn't block. Look at their health and their you block meter right now. Of every plants and zombies hardest card to react to. For example, Rust Bolt <coughs> turn one pumpkin. Unless he has super, he is screwed. Like maybe what each hero I'm going through, yeah, like what are their favorable and and not unfavorable matchups? That could be an interesting uh, idea. I wrote it down. Nice facial hair. Yeah, I'm gonna trim my beard after. I have to. 
Sometimes when you're ruminating about stuff, you don't uh, take care of yourself. You gotta get, gotta get back in the shape. Uh, this hammer should be good enough. Good enough cards against Rust Bowl here. Uh, yeah. Again, it's crazy. You, you keep Galacta in that forget me nuts. Because Galacta just is like a primal. It's like an aggressive primal potato mine. It's ridiculous. The one testing a hundred games with RCCH of Countertron versus versus Gargmech. Why did you guys do that? I still don't understand. That's <laughs> so specific. And that wasn't even running the real version of Countertron with the shrinkings. I don't know. Um, so this this will go on heights. We don't want this to get black hold this turn, and then it sets up for I don't know what. So pretty strong card against Rustbolt. Do you think humans have not been able to develop one? I don't know what that sentence is saying. Everyone's a low rank. Like, this is a rank 40, because the season just reset. I mean, I'm, I'm rank 30-something, so this would be... This was someone in Taco League last, last season. What percentage voted yes for this? I would have definitely voted yes. 71 said yes. 29 voted the under. Bet the under. <laughs> I might use this as a, just a tempo to buff my Triceratops. So weird. But like, in this, in this state, this is just a card draw card right now. Again, Wall Knight's superpower is being said. This is almost the worst one. Uh, the hammer looks pretty good, though. So he cryobrains. This is a good use of the hammer. It prevents damage to this. It opens up to more bullseye this turn, which is fine. Definitely enough value. And then it kills this. You know, this would have actually survived there. Well, with super... I mean, pumpkin super, but again, it, it would have survived because it was protected, so... So it was pass, cryobrain, poach on three. I don't know what's going on here. For him, he likes a deck. He, he really liked Counter Try that much. Huh? I just don't know why Gargamack. Why? Why this? oddly specific. Then you have the spring beans that count to the gargs. I don't think that's a good matchup. Feeling better, Fry? I'm, I'm working on it. It's a process. Just developing the four drop. Probably not too worried about gravestones. Here. Taking that one damage is okay, too. This guy's running like this weird control deck where you do gladiator coaches. Is he down to five health already? I didn't even realize. On turn four, he has five health left. It makes sense because he just hasn't blocked the pumpkin yet. And he hasn't blocked. This is him. This got him down to eight with three shots. And then this did one plus two, which takes him down to five. It's ridiculous, man. Poor Rustbolt is right. We just need a clear lane with this Shamrock and we'll be good to go. We can use the Galacta to clear this lane too. I think the Pumpkin will also likely hit face. We're, we're, we're doing it. We're doing A-OK. -okay. Another Shamrock. I'm probably just going to do this for a card. Unless he plays a Shamrockable minion, that would be nice. 
If he plays uh, defensive end, then yeah, Shadow Rock is definitely the play. It's sad how the Gladiator blocks these both of these though. Ugh. It also blocks the incoming bullseye. Damn. I the one thing that's weird that beats Countertron a lot is sports decks. I don't know why. It just seems like it they beat Countertron more than you'd think. Uh Wishing I had the blockbuster back, man. Uh, Alright, well, we can still top deck one of our three uh, blockbusters. <coughs> so this is just going to be double sumo, most likely. I, I kind of don't like the Galacta anymore. Because it kills the blockbuster. Maybe it's still worth it? Do I need that lane? <laughs> Didn't think we'd have really a good blockbuster, that's why I spent it. I could have I could have done a different play. And really it kills this too. No, you just don't go act it. Teleportation zombie and kite. I don't have a read on this guy whatsoever. Whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> Pip, against Rust Bowl, you always play Pumpkin in lane 4 because of his signature, so the high damage hits first. In case he has signature, you want your other card, you want the the pumpkin to be on the right. You're saying on turn one. It's an interesting consideration. The reason I played on heights is because of black hole. Um, I don't want him being able to black hole and then it only has three and then he's able to like flick it or something. I guess using a flick on a pumpkin is pretty inefficient anyway though. I guess bouncing it. Well, I guess he doesn't have excavating. Whew. Heal? He's doing, I mean, it's supposed to like heal the gl the gladiator, I guess. I don't even know what's going on. <sighs> this is so sad. I have, I have nothing to do, and these sham rockets are breaking. This is the one, I was really reluctant to do the sham rockets. There was like maybe four hammers, two sham rockets. It could be that is better. I just don't want these breaking. I mean, we had good sham rockets so far, but this guy's not running anything with four attacks so far, so... More heals. And this is a bad trade, but it just prevents them from playing tricks here. Efficiently. <coughs> I mean, he's got to have some late game, so he should be able to get value. I think these are just very sad. His hand is very sad in general. Eric just gifted a sub. Thank you so much. Welcome, Volix, to the front line. He doesn't seem to have any removal, which is nice. He's back at 15 health. He was at 5 a couple turns ago. How did he heal a 15? 4 plus 6. I guess that equals 10. <laughs> Duh. Ah. Uh, this Galactus is sad. Oh, we can play this. Here comes El Yeti. El Yeti. Bro, oh, rockets are active. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. I don't know what to do, but... Wish I could rocket this one. I'll be able to next turn. They just don't... The Galacta is just so sad here.
Estracado would be nice. We just, yeah, we're getting our early game. And we're getting bricked rockets. So the rockets should be fine after he's played Warlord. We're doing significant seven with one shot, you know, half of that's bullseye, so. It all ends up with a little three, but pretty empty block meter. Nonetheless. We just need one good sham rocket now, and we got him. That costs five. How is he at no, it's turn eight already. Jeez. Watch this give him an answer. I think we're fine. Four plus four wins, eight wins. Um it happens to be like four, three, and one win, so this would actually be correct. Yeah. At least to proc the block. So, those Brick Sham Rockets end up just winning us the game. Interesting. I think Galacta, because it exploding, um, would have killed two of our other cards on the field with one health. That's the reason why I wasn't playing it. I think it's better just to play patiently there. This is cool. This is very cool. Cool indeed. I'll keep this in. I honestly, you can keep two photosynthesizers as long as you have other ones and twos. Uh, so what do we go for against Boogaloo? Uh, these are e just as easily answered. Four damage is better than two bulls, I will say. So I'm gonna just play this. It'll absorb the heat, and then we can actually go for the four four next turn. card but this is i mean this is a nightmare this 4-4 four, four, this is the i, I alluded to this in title of the stream which was uh, the high health pumpkins so this is a nightmare turn two you get a 4-4 four, four, a natural it didn't even cost us a card because we got another card off of this you can even actually play the banana launcher here that'd be pretty damn good what is he doing he's just passing i wonder if i should put damage on the field now Maybe this one's better just because we're so far ahead. What is he going for? Honestly, I'm I'm just gonna be more aggressive. Screw this guy. Wow. He's down to twelve on turn three. There's your bungee. Maybe you top deck that? Oh. Evaporate would be nice. What is it? What is his superpower? It's I mean a lightning bolt and evaporate were both playable, so it's gotta be backup. Why would he not play backup to just block the damage though? Uh this is uh, <laughs> taking it a little too seriously. Uh so this wins. Wait, this will do three. <laughs> I can embiggen it. Or mutation it. It does three though. Galacta would have won here. <sighs> Is getting more damaging good? We're playing this next turn? I don't know. I don't actually know. Uh, yeah, I typically don't run environments with the Guardian package because it just seems like the, I don't know, like what are you worried about? The black hole? Black hole's pretty good. Hunting grounds is okay. It just seems like environments, they don't, every card in this deck either has to be about establishing tempo or about countering what your opponent plays. And if they play an environment, I just don't think environments being played on turn four or five are going to really make it or break it. What is this? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm so very confused. So we can establish this. We can also go banana bomb and play these two. It's probably better. 
Because it makes a lethal scenario. You end up lightning bolt. I, I feel like the lightning bolt could have hit the 4 3 anyway, so the, protecting the Triceratops last turn with the vegetation mutation was not a priority. <coughs> Pianers. Got the second of this one. Strike through time. He thinks we're doing quite well. Bruh. Kanga, Kanga. If he's still holding it, evaporate somehow. I guess he could survive. No, I guess he had zero brains in him. Literally. <laughs> They've been doing construction across this road for me for the last two weeks, and the whole day is just this drill. It's draining my soul. All right. <coughs> These rank twenties were forty last season, I think. Not gonna keep Shamrocket against Neptune. I better get blockbusters and hammers. Um, is this good enough? One, two, three, somehow. I would mulligan one of these away. Could be a next one. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Do we trade these for some reason? I don't think so. Maybe this should go on the ground so this can't go on hindsight. Like I play Bloom 6. Uh, I, I, I played it once, actually, on stream. There, there's this part of me that, like, once once I, like, get back into ambitious mode, um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a process. I, there is a, definitely a part of me that wants to um, just stream mobile games. Just stream and just be a clown. And uh, just put the longer gameplay on Prime Up Gaming and then the highlights on Prime Up and... And just do that in addition to the roast. But I have to like it. I have just have to work on my happiness first, honestly. So I can't really accomplish new projects when I'm feeling sad about how the world is. But I'll get there. I'm getting there already. I always work it out somehow. So he clears our field? Good for you. Good for you. Let's see if we get a one drop. No. Ah, <coughs> uh, yeah. We're definitely not ahead. He's done 12 to us already? Bruh. Is it a pogo? I think it's gonna be like a, uh... <laughs> I have a feeling... That it's gonna be a, a stealthy. I'm gonna try to kill this. This is a pretty good opportunity. We want it to go here. Very nice. Should I play around stealthy? It's pretty good against Pogo. It's very sad against Tomb Razor. Extremely sad. Very sad against Trapper, too. I feel like we don't actually need to front that. Even if it's stealthy, and we usually block. Sumo. So he'll actually drag this one, probably. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh man, Neptuna Super. This guy is schooling us. We're supposed to be ahead in tempo. We are getting rocked right now. Uh, getting something which just any block is really good here. So we're playing the Astrocado next turn, so we're probably not gonna get an opportunity to play this effectively. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here. Also, this getting down to one health. 
Uh, well, oh. it's mostly just because we're playing Astro Counter. Really, well, yeah, it's, it's a strong lane. We could actually go like Pumpkin Hammer. Heal, heal actually wins this trade. It might not actually be Astrocado anymore. Because hammering, you know, this to open up the lane is good. Pumpkin Hammer Heal. We'll do Astrocado next year. Probably you are the best PvZ Heroes player. You're so sweet. You are too kind. Maybe Astrocado is still better. Then this dies, this dies. Nah. Nah. It does feed him a card, which we, you know, we're getting pretty late in the game. I think our, our tempo is going to be what dominates here. So getting our health up. But this is four base health now. It also healed the walnut. That was a lot of value, actually, from a geyser, so. Now we just smooth the walnut somewhere. He'll move it, like, behind the pumpkin, I guess. <laughs> Who knows? But we win the, the lane 2, we win lane 3 now, and our lane 4 is alive. We actually don't have a play. <laughs> I didn't consider that we don't even have a, a, have a lane to play a card anymore. Come on. No. Um, if I would have considered that, so this would be dead, we could always establish this play next turn. We'll have the hammer still in our hand, which will do get a lot of value. That's very weird. That's guaranteed lethal, actually. Why would you block? In fact, well... I guess it was guaranteed regardless. The hell. Why did I hit three times? One, two, three. One. Eh, it was guaranteed anyway. The gas giant came from pumpkin? Uh, we're 5-0. and oh. Yeah. Why is the walnut still cracked? It doesn't, like, heal when you get it back to full health. It doesn't... They don't have a programmed in the game for it to go back to its whole animation. Like, it gets a little crack in it when it takes damage. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. This looks good. One, two, three. Four. That's fine. Let's try to bunch our guys, I think. Maybe the pumpkin will go here. We just want this this to begin. Uh yeah. And the bubble is exceedingly good on turn two here. It's perfect. Another good play. Good plays all around. Like this will work probably more effective later. Like smoke bomb, he can super. Should I play around super? Should I play around a super here? I mean, this is more damage. The Galacta really might get thread next turn, which is a good thing. Like Fry does not have COVID. Fry had a cold and I get a dry cough. It's like this, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, like a reflex. I talked to a doctor about it once. Every time I get a cold, I haven't had a bad cold in years. I ran out of cold effects. Um, so he did have super from protecting the pumpkin. Seems like it paid off. He ended up using a really powerful card to remove a one drop, so I'm cool with that. You need a leap. Oh, hello, darkness. We want the bullseye. We want the four to hit before the two. The two to proc the blocks, statistically.
these blockbusters are going to get value. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Damn, it's so good. If it's a four drop, we win. Still has a chance to survive, but I mean, just what is he going to do against about this field, man? Might as well call it six and a. That does not do it. Digging for a smoke bomb. Super Brain seems like a good matchup, especially with the pumpkins and stuff. Like, we have all these really powerful... I mean, look at the one-drops we're running. Arguably, the, the best three one-drops, like, on the plant side. Like, for real. Galactic Cactus, forget me not to pumpkin. And then we have ways of protecting them. Crazy, man. The one we were running in... We were running Lima Pluridon in the... Uh, in the Citron deck. Now, Lima is better for the long term because it doesn't feed your opponent cards. It actually makes your deck better every single turn. It puts OP cards into your deck. So, But short term, though, I mean, Pumpkin is, is obviously the better card. In the short term. So definitely don't keep this again, Z-Mac. Maybe keeping two? It just seems sad on three. That's a hint. Definitely keep Photosynthesizer against Crazy. In this deck, do we do we try to punish Con Man with Pumpkin? I think we do. Uh, the Pumpkin actually doesn't die in the splash. Like we definitely can't Galact, or else we can. Well, uh, we can Galact to protect it. <coughs> this does give us tempo. Flag zombie. Um, genetic. Wow, that's strong. Flag combo is good. It's it's a good one. Uh, the pumpkin is actually kind of set here. You're all good. Probably these two and kill the genetic. I know we take two damage. But... It also kills the flag zone. Heal actually gets us back up to a 2-1. It's another cool thing. Photosynthesizer with Forget-Me-Nuts. Heal, like, gives it back, which is awesome. It's just drawing cards. You're a Mina one. Mr. Grinch. So it just gives us a little bit more leeway to establish our... Our late game against this really strong start. Man, flag combo. I haven't... I've gone away from flag. I've been going much more with teacher, but maybe... Maybe I need to try flag again. This will win this trade. And again, Walnut has a lot of... We, we actually have 10 health in our hand, which is... Kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think Fruitcake doing 7 damage is necessary for cards like Picanolith and Wingnut, at least having some answer, but yeah, probably costing 3 <laughs> would be better. The way. <coughs> this actually loses this trade. Should I go face? I think slowing the game down is probably, probably correct. Honestly, I'm becoming a slightly less of a fan of fruitcake in the really in the tournament, for example. I found that the fruitcakes were feeding the, the card the card feeding was was a major problem. This is actually decent here. So that's actually a, a pretty good card. It protects this and kills this a turn earlier. If it's turn five, it's on curve. 
Ooh, ooh, shine. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky. You know how I feel. I just really don't like the pumpkin here. This is why I, don't, I again I went away from it. Definitely in the tournament, I did not run pumpkin. Ah. It's a new dawn. It's. I think we just have to stall for turn eight. Do I play this? Do I even play this? It just gets blocked this turn. This kind of gives him two cards. I think I don't even play this now. <laughs> In fact, using this as a removal card is probably more efficient than anything. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. If he passes, this will be the play. Oh boy. Uh, so we do have an answer for that. Mm -hmm. so we'll do three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty good answer. Just mitigating the amount of damage we're taking here. Uh, him blocking and getting like his super would suck. It actually, this actually still dies to a super, so that's nice. Really, just one more turn. This is this game now. It's just trying to heal. Pretty good against Teacher. Do we pumpkin? What's better, me getting a 4 2 on the field? This turn it is better because that actually does 4 damage. His card he gets is usually better than this, by the way. So. I negate the card from his hand, and I negate this from my hand. It's very sad, but really, all of his cards cost more than one. They're, they're just better than this. Uh, okay. That's a good super. This does die without doing the damage, though. So we'll take three now. Uh, no, we'll take five. We'll take five. No, we'll die! So Trick Mag got us. I mean, big surprise there. Come on, man! It wasn't even Trick Mech, it was Flag Mech, it was Flag Swarm Mech. Kind of a hybrid, I suppose. Trick Mech with Flag Zombie instead of Aerobics. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we actually, that's a deck that can out-tempo this, so. Also, the z -Mech Super is just a z -Mech Strong Hero. But this is the reason why, again, that, that game, the Pumpkins have been good, and they are good in this deck, and I don't regret putting them in, but, like, that is the reason why I have not been running, um, I have not been running Pumpkin, I didn't run Pumpkin in the tournament, I ran it at first, but I just went away from it, especially in mid -rows. I think this is right. He can't really deal one damage easily, but have a way of protecting this, and if we don't deal with this now, he's just gonna get too much value from it, so... It's probably going to be fronting his gravestone with this and uh, photosynthesizing with 4 1. So it's a really good card against Neptuna. And then we have Blockbusters for years. If he passes, I'm going to establish the Galacta here so we'll have all four lanes covered for the Blockbuster. Oh, sorry. It's, it's 6 and 1. I'm sorry. <laughs> when we're on the win streak, it just feels natural. Uh, so we'll see what we get first. Oh! Is that better? Is it better? I think it is. Better. It does more damage this turn. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life. Oh. And I'm feeling good. I think we do this for a card. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Oh, worth it, worth it. I'm gonna bunch these because of grave, because of blockbuster. Enjoy your cards. Yeah, the amount of tempo this gives us definitely makes it worth it. Ooh, that's sad. Why would you, bro, bro? <laughs> okay, the blockbuster just got better. 
We're doing six damage here, man. On one shot. <laughs> he rolled a two and a three. California roll in kind. This is the perfect hand. This is all we need. We don't need any more tempo. This is fine. We'll get a better blockbuster on that. Believe you me. Get <laughs> Uh, it's called Counter Knight. That's what I should have called it. Yes! Woo! This deck is flying! Whoa, go! Let's go. <sighs> it's a new dawn, it's a new day. That's a decent hand. It's a new life, oh, oh, oh. me, and I'm feeling good. Um, this is a card I, I typically struggle a lot against with Guardian Package, because you end up relying on your superpowers and on your photosynthesizers a lot for early game tempo, and this just becomes a 1-3-3, one, three, three, a 1-4-4, one, four, four. it's just ridiculous. It just becomes stronger than your cards, which is the whole point. I'm probably going to end up taking this out on turn 3 with a forget me not so it doesn't look like we're actually relying on the, um... <coughs> on the tricks. That's a pretty good card against this deck, though. Probably go for these two. Why do you like cats? I like affectionate cats. I don't feel like I like them enough to own one, though. So if he plays the dead ghost, uh, I'll probably just go for the pair. If he plays it here. Nice top deck. This just makes a lot of really good... Does a lot of good stuff very well. Uh, so this is fine. I, I think the forget-me-nuts here. I think these trading right now is okay. He's proccing his block. We don't want him to like proc his block and then smash this. That's the worst case scenario. Now, he hasn't shown us a superpower, so his smash power is technically playable there. I just feel like he might have gone for the... I don't know. Gone for it on two. So, we're... Yeah, this is going quite well. Another Gargologist. Gargologist! So should, how aggressive should we be right now? I mean, we have the heal. I guess this will kill the Gargologist next turn. I like saying Gargologist. Also procs the block. But yeah, I'm playing some Gargs. We don't have a Shamrock yet. This is going to be a little harsh. Maybe this going face. I just feel like the Garg fronting this becomes very sad. We'd rather go after one of these. There's a super come on, man. It, it, my experience with Countertron was that cards that you need to answer and they get insane value if you don't, that's actually what counters. So Gargologist is an interesting idea, but it is. it seems to be strong against this deck. Um, the other thing is, so it kills, oof, I forgot about the dead ghost, anyway. Um, the other thing is, like, teacher seems to be very good. Maybe it's, like, mascot fits that? I don't know why the sports decks, I still don't know why that does better. Yeah, so this is, I mean, we're, we're in some doo-doo. The, the, the good news, the, re the redeeming part of this, I wonder if I go for a card here. I have to waste it, but maybe a card. The good news is he's down to five. If this hit, well, he's down to seven, and this will hit. Kind of just need one more card here. I probably am gonna run out of. I think I use this. So weird. There's a six coster. All right, that's nice. Can I actually deal with some of these guards here. You pronounce Gargologist like we do in Dutch? Gargologist! I'm trying to do like Russian, I think. Man, this would have been pretty sweet, Lester. <laughs> ah, too slow. But it's nice that we can, this is actually playable now. We can just mitigate some of this. I think this pair cup, this is going to be a very hard card for him to answer. Like, he'd have to run Locust Swarm. I, it just, even Alley News is just too slow, so. Methinks. The heal is going to be huge value on this also next turn. 
I think we're doing pretty damn good here. We just need to hit him twice. He doesn't have a block meter. This Galacta ends up being a lethal threat for next turn. Theoretically. Uh, I guess there's not going to be a lane, but you know. You know. We have healing in our hands, so even though we're low health. That's... That'll actually get value next turn, just to be able to heal. Just Again, we're playing... We're actually playing a health game now, not a tempo game. <laughs> Whoever does the most damage first wins. <coughs> I'll I'll play this. Yeah. Well, let's see what he does. The key is if he plays like a nurse. <laughs> okay. Bro, that screws a lot of stuff up. I don't need a heal. Let's see what we get. We just need another card here. Block bust. I think we can just do this. Heal actually is even better than next turn. Yes! Ah, so he just didn't have an answer. Uh, and just like that. It is eight and one. Let's go. The the answer is yes. <gasps> is my YouTube stream unlisted? How many people are in the stream? The YouTube stream was unlisted. Why did it not update? I forgot to update it. My bad. Did I mess up the scores? Hold on, I I, I want to check it because I was messing around with it. Whoops, I didn't mulligan properly there. I, I might have messed up the score though. Six and zero against Zemek, we're six and zero, and then after Zemek, we're six and one against Neptuna. We beat Neptuno, so we're 7 and 1. And then we beat Smash. So we're 8 and 1. No, that's it. That's most definitely it. Uh, draw a card first, because why not? Got an applesauce. Very nice. It's a new life. It's a new life for me. Do this because of the uh, blockbuster. What is he gonna do? Play a one drop? Oh, okay. Damn. Laser strong card. I think the the the, the play is gonna be like pair cub. Makes the trade. I know it's in the sad environment. Laser is very strong against this deck, but then we can actually clear that lane and get some damage. In. Maybe he'll just. Yeah, that's gotta be it, right? The Blockbuster or the Shamrock, it should be able to take out what he plays next turn. Uh, we also can just add damage if we need to. So. Finally, plays Telepathy on turn 5, 4. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to update the YouTube information, so the notification didn't go out. I'll get to, the, to those people. Twitch has notifications too, but it's not so reliable. Okay, so he goes with a non sham rocket bull, non blockbuster card. Come on, man. That's sham rocket bull. 
Believe you me. Um, yeah. This is bullseye too. This <coughs> okay. I think we're still winning though. Should be able to put him away. He's just not doing enough damage. Bro! I'm glad we photosynthesized this one. We're not blocking. Ugh. Okay, so he'll have six health now. This is beginning to hurt. I think we want him to proc the block. Just get another card here. Bro? Here? Five plus one wins. This actually creates a lethal scenario. Let's see how to rock it. Or a chop. Or both, bro. <laughs> uh, the, 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 this should win, but this guy's being a pain in the in the tush here. Like, bruh. Pain in the tuchus. Uh, we'll see if we can. This would be so nice if we play the gravestone. Can you please do that? I just want to show the world. The sad botanist. We probably just replace this anyway. Four, six, seven. Why the hell not? Why the bejeebers not? Okay. Okay. With the heal, too. That's, like, better than the Z-Mag super there, because he needs health. Bro! Bro! Okay. Uh, the dragon will still be lethal in, like, lane 5, and he doesn't have chop anymore. So, his rockets are not going to be active. I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's see, plays, like, a kitchen sink zombie. Or, I don't know. Mixer doesn't do crap here. Bro, oh my gosh, is he save his pogo? This is not pogo. Is he, did he really actually save this for turn eight? Smart, it's called being smart, boys. All right, we'll just play for teleportation zombie, which it probably is. Come on, man, <laughs> he's too smart. He's too smart for, wait, he doesn't know, how do we, he can't even know we had dragon, we're not even running that. What the heck is he? Got monster mash, okay. Bruh. What is the base health of this card? Four? It's four. Okay. That's five. Oh my gosh, if we win this one, bro, we could lose this one, guys. Here comes the mug. Are you ki okay? This guy's sniping. What am I supposed to do? So Pogo's on the right, Space Time, Biodome, and and the mixed up is in one. Space Time is inside the no Biodome's in the laser. It's Mug Pogo Biodome. Space. Time. We are protected! Go for strike throughs? <coughs> we need a leaf! We need a leaf! We need a leaf. Happy 25 months.
I know, I need Blockbuster. Real bad. I guess this will go ahead. You can snipe the gravestones by clicking on the mug as he's going in. It's a... It is a glitch. Feels bad, man. I just feel like it's become some Mulcracker 25 months! Long timer, let's go. We'll get three. Nice! 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 Ooh, I think we got this guy. He doesn't really have a way to deal with these, so... <laughs> Me thinks we got this guy. So the question is, do we go for the... Dragon. So this will be 7, 8, 9, 10... This really plays around. He doesn't have lethal damage, so even if he has a pogo, it's okay. And this this plays around him having a bonus attack to, to kill this. No way! He got that from space time, he's not even running it! Wait! No, we well we still win. Oh no, we still win. Never mind. It's the same as the pogo. <laughs> I thought that would be different for some reason. No, we 100 percent win. Get wrecked. Nine and one, let's go. We lost to like flag trick mech. I mean that's that's a tough matchup. Yeah, let's use the bubble. That would be smart. Got him! The apple saucers were so clutch in the late game. I mean comparing that to we, we ran started running like dog just to play around weed spray in the citron deck. I mean apple saucer is so much better. I'd even rather dog not have hunt to be honest. That would actually be cool. That would be OP if it was in the water and it was two bus three two. Probably. But anyway, the apple saucers with the strike through, man. Against super brains, he just doesn't have that, you know, bungee plumber or whatever to deal with it. Yes. Should have put one of the apple saucers against against the mug, maybe. <coughs> anyway. No, I had super up anyway. I had super up that turn, so the mug can't hit us. So I might as well make a good trade. Anyway, guys, that was fun. This was El Fun. That was a great deck. That was a great deck and a great stream. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Is, this deck is nasty, man. Nasty. The Guardian Package Saga continues. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Peace. This is Friday.